Hi, my name is Kaylee Padgett, and I'm a sophomore. Hey, I'm Cameron, I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Sarah, I'm a senior. The camera's gonna die in a second, guys. Just the only one person breathing. <laughs> Alright. Hold the pose for three seconds and we're done. It's not participating. Ready? Okay, okay. One, two, three. Perfect. That's usable. And we're done. My experience with art is really pretty limited. All I've really done is I did a sculpture class in eighth grade, which was really fun. I enjoyed it. I did kind of an abstract thing that I made out of popsicle sticks. Um, but I haven't really done anything with drawing or painting, so this is my first experience with that in a while, since probably elementary school. And it was really fun, I enjoyed it. It didn't turn out exactly as it was supposed to. The mountains kind of look like they're floating and the sky isn't very blended, it just looks like a giant rainbow. But it's cool, I enjoyed doing it. Um, and um, what I know about Bob Ross is he makes videos about learning how to paint, and that he's very positive, so even if you don't do perfect, like me for example, it's perfectly okay. I tried to follow the video as closely as possible, but I did sometimes have to pause it because he was moving so fast he did the entire painting in seven minutes, especially since he had all of his paints pre-mixed and already on his palette. And I frequently had to either refill the paints or make new colors or something like that. Probably my favorite part of the experience was watching Sarah freak out despite being significantly better than anybody else who was doing the painting because it wasn't up to her standards. But it was still beautiful and I think everybody was proud of their work except maybe Sarah. Um, but yeah, that's really it and I'm glad to have this opportunity. Hi, I'm Sarah and I've been doing art since probably like every year since elementary school except for senior year because I dropped. <laughs> um, so yeah, that includes a variety of like painting and colored pencil. I would like it to be clear though that this is not my best work and uh, I was told that I would have an hour, but then I didn't. It was like 15 minutes. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> um, I guess some fun facts about Bob Ross are that you can't buy a Bob Ross painting anywhere and he painted three paintings per like taping of his show. So there was one beforehand, there was one during the show, and then there was one afterwards. And so they got marked up, um, one that was like done during the show. There was one that went to the Kowalskis, who is the family that discovered Bob Ross. And I think like their daughter is the president of like Bob Ross Incorporated. That's probably not right. Someone should fact check that. <laughs> um, and I only know this because like a few years ago, I watched this one New York Times video about it. So someone should probably go back and check that to make sure that's right. Um, Bob Ross's son, his name was Steve, I think, and um, Bob Ross often brought squirrels to his painting, taping, and um, yeah. Oh, the experience was not my favorite, and uh, I kept getting <laughs> yelled at the entire time to be faster. Thank you guys so much for that. The end, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so I've had a little bit of past experience with art. Um, I've taken quite a few art classes, and I also like to make things in my free time. I do a little bit of painting, but it's just like small things. So when I started doing this, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, uh, it was a landscape and Bob Ross was going extremely fast. I couldn't even see because there was a terrible glare and it was just awful, but it, it was fun. It was a fun experience. Um, I eventually gave up halfway through because I was like, this isn't going to get any better. That's okay, I guess, to some extent. <laughs> but um, yeah, it just turned out. But Sarah's was amazing. Don't know why she was upset. But that was great, and I love to see it. But mine just turned into a train wreck. And the only time I've ever seen or heard of Bob Ross before was when I was little, and I went downstairs, and he was just on the TV. So I'd just sit there for about an hour and listen to him paint, and sometimes see a squirrel. Oh, 
I would like it to be clear though that it was harder because the water was on the ground and so I already hate washing my brushes and I don't know how you guys feel about this but having the water on the ground as well as the paint and only having so many hands with the easel and everything made things much more difficult. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't use the water at all. I just got a new brush every time we change colors. <laughs> yeah, and then we had to wash them. Kaylee and I had to wash them in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> yeah, we used to sit there and wash them after, and it was like, it's someone vomited colors. It was great. It's like a, we murdered a Smurf in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Tragic. If there's okay. anything you guys could have done differently, what would it be? Um, Everything. I would have had more time, because someone told me I'd have an hour. No, it was like, once I started, I couldn't go back. I don't know why. Maybe it was just because the sun was blaring down and yeah. I was like anxious and nervous and scared and then the paint was drying and then it just all died. I think it would have helped to watch the whole video through first so I know where we're going. I <laughs> okay, but I think it was I think it was fun. It was it was a fun experience. Um yeah. No, it was. I enjoyed I think, doing it. Yeah. Sure. I think we would have had more time. <laughs> I think if we had more time and we knew that we had like more time and a good cushion, we probably all could have done better. Mm -hmm. And we could have like helped each other, maybe. And if we could see. Oh, there's no helping Sarah. There's no helping Sarah. Sarah's helping us. We'll just make Sarah do all the painting next time. Okay, question for you guys. What if it makes art good? Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> 